Namaste, Dosto. So, another night out of the way. It wasn't too bad, actually. I tried the new, more substantial panty liners there, and it was grand. No waking up in the night with horrible gooiness to sort out. So, that's the way forward with that while we're using the estrogen gel. When we go to bed, we're using the thick pads there. So, after yesterday's little dysphoric adventures, we're feeling pretty good today. Uh, we did our first dilation. Surprisingly easy getting started. Bit of a struggle to get the depth there now. Could have done with another half inch personally. But couldn't we all girls, huh? So, once more as you can see, we're in the dilation room. Who has a dilation room? Well, I do. <laughs> ah, so... I was thinking about a roadmap back to work, but it's looking at the moment, like with my dilation route, because I work long shifts and I have a lot of travel to get to work and back. So it doesn't actually leave much time for me. So we'll see how things go. I'd like to be back at work, but not at the cost of my health. Not at that, no. Health comes first. But to be fair, my work have been absolutely solid. They said I can take the time that I need. I'm going to keep them in the loop with everything as we progress. And I'm really grateful to them for that. It's the dilation show. Hi, how's it going again? <laughs> okay, so... New discoveries, pelvic floor muscles, etc. To start with, wound up so tight like coiled spring. It's a real job to get going. Now, I've been going 20 minutes, half an hour. So loose, it's ridiculous. If I stood up, it'd just fall out. The dilate should be gone now. But... New discovery today, this pelvic floor muscle that's been giving me such problems, I can use. I can actually grip the dilator with it. Physically. That's so weird. But then, hey, every day is a new adventure. <laughs> so, carrying on with my tale of woe, part two. I got to age five in the 1970s. I had to go to school. School was hard, apart from the cookery lessons. And I was good at sewing, oddly enough. Anyway, anyway, pretending to be a boy was even harder than I ever imagined it would be. But I'd been hiding the fact I was a girl for a while now. And I was terrified of anyone finding out. Especially as I was being raised in the British Army. Daddy was a soldier and most definitely not what would you what you would call right on, woke, PC, tolerant in any shape or form whatsoever. I loved him so much, but he terrified me. I threw myself into this false maildom, as best I could try and fake. I tried really hard to fit in and pretend I was a boy. Cub Scouts in the British Army was an alarming experience. Apart from earning my home health badge, strangely enough. Best bit about earning that badge was doing a bit of cookery at home, a bit of cleaning up and housework, a bit of sewing. And the best bit about earning all these badges was I got to sew them onto my uniform. Mummy even taught me to knit, but I was so good at hiding what I was, no one suspected a thing. Sewing, knitting, cookery, dressing up games. Surely she knew. Surely she suspected something. But it's the 1970s. Maybe she was in denial. Maybe through fear or something. She hid any thought that I might be different. Every chance I got, I played with my little sister. They give me access to all her toys and comics. I love reading Bunty. Still do. Anyway. 
As we got older, due to parent work schedules, sometimes I was home alone. If so, I raided the laundry basket and wore my sister's clothes and played with her doll's house. Put them back in the laundry and nobody knew. I didn't have to worry about Chris or getting them dirty. I'm an evil genius, worthy of being a Bond villain. <laughs> the only way to describe those days dressed as a girl is that I felt, well, right, normal, at peace. I felt like me. I spent many a pleasant afternoon playing my sister's dolls elsewhere in her brownie uniform. That's actually my core favourite childhood memory. We moved to a junior school and had dancing lessons for the first year and I loved it but the second year on they made us play rugby and I hated it. That's all for now. Take care. I love you. Bye bye.